Leap options are one of the most powerful options that you could trade, and yet you don't hear much about them. They are an amazing tool that if used properly can massively increase your stock and optioning cash flows and returns. In this video, I share with you a technique that we're going to take advantage of using Leap options that has the potential to pay us infinite returns. First, why are Leap so powerful? Simply put, the lady control a tremendous amount of stock while risking a fraction of the cost compared to owning the stock outright. As you're probably aware, I don't like buying short-term options unless I'm buying them for protection. When you buy a Leap's call option, you're controlling 100 shares of the stock for each contract that you own. Let's look at a stock that I'm considering buying Leap's call options in. I'll share with you why Leap's are so supreme. And stay tuned until the very end of this video because there I'll show you how you can do this trade all for free. Here you see the daily and weekly chart of Netflix. As you can see, it's been getting hammered over the past several months. In November of last year, it was trading for just over $700 per share. Fast forward seven months, and today it closed at $205 per share. That's a drop of almost $500, or 71%. In fact, it's dropped so much that even though I wouldn't have dreamed of trading in the stock last year, I'm seriously considering a position in it right now. In fact, I'm not just considering it, but I'm actually watching it to see when is the best time to possibly enter a position. Here you see that Netflix stock price has dropped so much that its price to earnings is just over 18. Now I don't know about you, but I have a Netflix subscription and I've had it for years and I love it. I absolutely do not plan to cancel that membership. In fact, I don't want to say it too loud because I don't want Netflix to hear me, but they could even increase the price a decent bit and I would still subscribe to it. They simply have really good shows that I enjoy watching. So if we're bullish on the stock, we have a couple choices here. Actually, as option traders, we have a ridiculous number of choices, but I'm going to keep it simple for you. Here you see the July options chain that expires in 43 days. Now we could use one of my absolute favorite techniques of selling a near-term cash secured put option in Netflix. However, the problem with that is that our profit is limited to how much premium we pocket for selling that put option. What if we believe that Netflix had the potential to go way up in price? Here you see that several weeks ago, Netflix traded for a new recent low of right at 160 per share. So if we wanted to play it safe, we could consider selling the July 15th 160 cash secured put option. For that, we would receive right around $2.37 per share. If you annualize that return for the 43 days that we would at most be in this position, it would pay us a 12.6% annualized non-leveraged return. Not terrible, but not great either. What if we combine that with buying a call option? Say we sold the 160 put option and use that cash to buy a call option. He sees that the same expiration day, July 15th, the 250 call option would cost us right at $2.10 per share. So we actually walked away with $0.27 cents per share in our pocket, and if Netflix ends up above $2.50 over the next 43 days, we get to pocket the difference. The problem is that, as you can see here, the delta of that 250 call option is 0.131. That means it is estimated that we only have a 13.1% chance that this call option will be in the money at expiration. And that makes sense because as you can see here, Netflix will have to go up by $45, which is right at 22% over the next 43 days. The odds of that happening are fairly slim. But could we use the king of options? Could we use Leap's options to do better than that? Could we use them to allow us to be in a safer trading position, increase the odds of winning on this trade while also giving Netflix time to rebound in price? Now we're looking at the January 19th of 2024 option chain. Notice that this option chain expires in 596 days or about a year and a half from right now. I've taken out a bunch of strike prices. I'm just going to show you two of them, the 150 and 310 strike prices. But notice how we use the king of options, Leap's options, to put a trade together that gives a better odd of winning. Instead of selling the 160 cash secure put option, we could actually go down by 10 more dollars and sell the 150 strike put option. That would pay us around $22.55 per share. We could then take that cash and buy the same expiration day, January of 2024, 310 call option. That should cost us around $21.32 per share. If we did this trade, we put a net of $1.23 per share into our pocket. That means that this call option would not have cost us anything out of pocket to buy it. Yes, we'd have a margin requirement, and I'll get to that in just a minute. But I want to show you something else about this position. Notice what the odds are that Netflix will reach this 310 strike price. Under Delta, at the purple arrow, you see there's an estimated 36.8% chance that Netflix will reach this 310 strike price by January of 2024. That means our odds are almost three times better by using Leap's options. 
Remember, the put options we are selling are actually $10 farther out of the money. Yes, our capital will be tied up for a lot longer period of time, but our odds of winning are a lot higher as well. If you're long-term bullish on Netflix, then why not give it a longer time frame to win for you? And if it went way up in price before January of 2024, you can always close this position out early or even close out the cash secured put option while rolling your long call option up and out in time and possibly even turning it into a poor man's covered call at that point. And that'd protect your game and put even more cash into your pocket. So we're combining selling a leaps put option with buying a leaps call option. The question now is, how much collateral will Interactive Brokers requires to set aside for this position? I mean, it's a position that technically, I won't have to do anything with it for about a year and a half. Let's go to my strategy below tab and put this order in by selling the January of 24, 150 put and buying the 310 call. The net we put into our pocket is $1.23 per share. Notice down here at the bottom that the initial margin that Interactive Brokers requires to set aside is $2,248. After that, if Netflix were to stay where it's at and the margin requirement didn't change, we'd be required to set aside $2,032 for this position. Now remember that the margin requirement, it can change, and it can change every second of every day. However, that's the margin requirement as of right now. And what is the potential reward? Obviously, we don't know where Netflix will be in about a year and a half. For all we know, it could be lower. In which case, by selling that put option, if we didn't roll a put option down, we'd be committing to buying 100 shares of Netflix at $150 per share. However, with Netflix being down so much, I believe that the odds are in our favor that Netflix will be trading higher. And if it's trading higher than 310 per share, we'll get to pocket the difference. Looking back at our chart, what if Netflix made it back up to where the red 200 moving averages on this daily chart or $400 per share? That would mean that our 310 call option would be $90 in the money. Multiply that times 100 shares and our call option would be worth $9,000. Remember, we did this trade for no cash out of our pocket. All we have to do is put up the required margin. By the way, if you want to be a more profitable stock and ops trader, do yourself a favor and hit the subscribe button and bell notification. And if you're finding benefit in this video, please hit the like button as well. Now you want to be careful selling that leaps put option because if Netflix goes down, you're on the hook to buy that stock at the put option strike price. So you want to make sure that you're comfortable owning the stock at that price if it came to that. But now let's say that you like this whole concept, but you didn't like the idea of being committed to buying Netflix at 150 per share. Let's say you want to decrease the amount that you had at risk because you thought that there was the possibility that Netflix could go way down in price. How would you use leaps options to drastically decrease your risk but still give you the opportunity to win if Netflix goes way up in price? We could first sell a bullish leaps credit spread. Notice in the blue box that we're selling the January of 24, 150 put option and buying the same expiration day, $100 put option for protection. If we did that trade, it should put around $13.45 per share into our pocket. We could then take that cash and buy the January of 24, 370 call option. If we did this trade, we should end up pocketing right about 42 cents per share. Now the odds of Netflix being above 370 are a good bit lower than our previous potential trade, but we still have a 24.6% chance that the Leaps call option we bought at 370 would end up in the money at expiration. I'll take that considering that we have capped our potential loss at $50 per share. But could Netflix make it to 370 over the next year and a half? Notice that less than two months ago, Netflix was at that strike price of 370. So I believe there's definitely the potential for it to get there. Of course, we don't know what will happen, but this gives you another way to use Leaps Options, the king of options, and line yourself up for a win. And potentially, if Netflix were to go anywhere close to the high from seven months ago, it could be a huge win for you. Keep in mind that if you did not want to take on the risk of selling a put option, you could always just buy a Leaps call option. You'd be out of pocket for the entire cost of buying that call option, but you wouldn't have the added risk of the stock possibly being assigned to you at that put option strike price. If you'd like to receive alerts when we do trades similar to the ones I showed in this video, consider the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you really want to become a master at trading in Leaps options, you really need to check out the video playlist at the link above and the description below entitled Poor Man's Covered Call and Leaps Options Trading. In that video series, I share real life examples of how we use Leaps options to generate awesome cash flow in return every single month. Until next time, happy investing and we'll see you again soon.